Okay, so again, we're going to be uh, starting a new game. It's called uh, Lazarus. And the idea here is not to get squished. That's the basic idea. Um, I think I had it up earlier. Let me just uh, show it to you once, one, one more time so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so here's the sprites. Not too many sprites. We got lots of sound, though, in this game. Uh, objects gets pretty busy. And then you need uh, at least eight rooms. Let me just run the one I have, and then you can get the idea of what we're trying to build. Okay, so here's Lazarus. He's uh, jumping around. And he can jump on top of boxes. And the idea is to just get out of the pit and touch the stop button. Now, anywhere where Lazarus is, it drops another box on his head. Now, some boxes destroy other boxes, like those. That gets destroyed. So it takes a while sometimes to build these things up. If you look at the bottom left-hand corner, you can see... Oops, I'm dead. Squish, okay. So that's how you lose. I'm good at losing. Yeah. Uh, cheesy music. I'll try to update the music. I write a lot of music, so maybe I'll get some good, good stuff. Yeah. So and then you start the next level. So there's no score. The problem is uh, the random boxes. That's a little bit of a challenge. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to I'm going to just create a new one here. Can't see part of my screen for some reason. Oh, there it is. So I'm going to start a new game here. And the sprites are out in the shared folder. Uh, there's quite a few sprites here. And I would go with the uh, names in the book. I think this is the name in the book. I should actually do this from the book, but like I said, I have most of these memorized. But. Okay, so where are the sprites? Um, if you look out in your S drive, Game Design 1, here's Lazarus, and then here's all the sprites. It's sometimes nice to click up here and choose tiles so you can see. I'm trying to feed back a bit. Tiles so you can see um, all the different sprites. Okay, so the one you, you have to be careful when you pick the Lazarus stand one. Because if you get the wrong one, it's just too small. That says it's an icon, so that's not the one we want. Yeah, this is the one we want, okay? Say so open. Yeah, and check remove background on that one. Now, I don't think we need to do anything with, with precise collision checking. We might later on, but for now, we'll just leave it that way. Okay. Next, we want to uh, create uh, some different sprites for when Lazarus is moving around. So sprite, Laz, right. This is when he just kind of hops over to the right. And we want uh, this one, Lazarus, right? So you see the animation here. It's just uh, kind of scooching over to the right. Okay, open. You can check it just by uh, hitting these buttons, and you can watch the animation. But notice that the 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 sprite is is four times bigger than than the one where he's just standing still. Okay, so you notice that. And then we'll just do uh, last left as well. And again, we're just loading the, the left sprite. Again, that's really big. 
We might later. I can't quite remember if we do that or not. Precise collision checking. All right. So we'll just start with those three. You have one sprite for when he's standing still. Other sprites when he's moving around. Unlike the maze game where we had one object and four different sprites for the, the main player object. In this one, um, we're going to have a different object for each form of Lazarus. Okay, so let's do that. We'll make uh, those three. So object, try to use the same names, except pre prefix it with, uh, with the OBJ prefix, and then choose the right sprite. Just the basic things like that. So for a game, we have this kind of nice background we can use. It looks like a little factory or something. And then I'm going to add a background. And again, the background is up in the uh, Lazarus folder. So that would be here. Here's our background. Say open. The background looks nice. Now we can create a room. And our sprites in this room are 40 by 40, so we're going to set the grid to 40 by 40. Um, we can put Lazarus in the room. Uh, but we are going to need a, a wall sprite and a, a wall object because he needs to be able to sit on something. So let's do that now. So I'm just right-clicking on these folders and saying create sprite. And then we'll call this sprite wall. Let's go watch, find the wall sprite. There it is. A little bit substantial. Oh, and this one probably, actually, don't remove background. Just leave it like that. So leave that unchecked. Walls, you typically take up the whole space, so you don't want to remove the background. Otherwise, you get these weird spaces in between the blocks, and you don't want that. And then, in order to put them in the room, we have to create an object using that sprite. So let's do that. And we're going to make the wall solid. That's typical with walls. They're solid. OK, so now we can flesh out the rest of the room. I'll get my wall object. And we'll make this first room kind of simple. So the, the sidewalls aren't very tall. And then we will have a button to stop us, but for now we'll do that. Now, at first we just need a test room. We want to make sure this works right. So in order to test everything, um, typically what I do is I uh, create just something Lazarus can climb up on, like that, and then allow Lazarus to fall as well. So if we want to test the falling capabilities of Lazarus, you might build something like this. Let's say. Okay. This would be a good test room. So the way Lazarus uh, moves around, if there's an open square to its left and you hit the left key, it just goes there. But if there's a box in the way and there's room on top of the box, he jumps up on top of the box. 
You can't jump up two boxes, though. That's where he kind of gets trapped. So what we're going to try to do is just get Lazarus working today where he's hopping around and jumping up on top of boxes when they're there. All right. Um, so let's go back to object last stand. And we're going to uh, add in some keyboard events. And the only two keys in this game are just the left arrow and the right arrow. So we say, uh, let's do right first. OK, so, so before we move right, we've got to make sure that there isn't something in the way there. And so the way we do that is we do a check object. So here, I'm not sure why my screen's so messed up. I guess that works. OK, so I'm going to do a, a check object. And that's this one here. So hopefully that's the right one. Uh, we're checking for walls. We want to make sure that there isn't a wall there. So we actually want to click the, the not key. Okay, If there's not a wall there, and we want to look to the right. And so if we're looking to the right, our X displacement is 40, because that's how wide the pixel, or that's how wide Lazarus is, and that's our grid size. For the y coordinate, that doesn't change. It's not the same vertical level, but different uh, horizontal location. And we also want to make it relative. So that means wherever object last stand is, uh, look to the right and see if there's not a wall there. That's what that means in English. Okay. Now, if that's if there is not a wall there, then what we want to do instead of changing the sprite like we've done before. We're actually going to do something called cha change object. So we want to do change instance, I guess that's the name of it. And we say, well, we want to turn it into the, the Lazarus that jumps to the right. Now, do we want to perform events? Mm, I don't think we need to do that. So we could just say OK. Perform events means, do you want to call the create event on the new object that you're changing to? In this case, there is no create event, so we don't really need that. Yeah. So let's try this, and you'll, you'll note there's a few issues that we'll have to address. Again, I, instead of fixing problems, we're doing right right now. So object class right. So they hit the right arrow. An object class stand, and we want to do the object class right. Okay, so if I try to move to the right, I get this weird thing repeating over and over, and he's underground. Okay, that's problematic. Okay, so again, that's the problem. Here's the solution to that problem. Uh, well, there's a couple things you need to do uh, before you can go to the right. Uh, first of all, we need to get our sprites to line up. And I think I talked about this a little bit, where the, the sprites kind of need to overlap a bit. And what we're trying to do is create a consistent location where to draw Lazarus. Some Lazarus sprites only have 40 by 40. Others, most of the others have 80 by 80 as their sprite size. So we have to compensate for that. Here's the Laz right. Notice that. Its origin is way up here, and we need uh, from we need it to move down just above Laz's left ear from our perspective. Okay, and so the way we do that is we're going to move y. And remember, y is upside down, so you have to add 40 to y to get the origin to move. See the little x? That's actually an x. If I center it, you can see it better. See, so we're we're saying, okay, where is zero zero on this sprite? And that's where we're going to when we say I want the sprite to be at one of these places, it's going to place it based upon where the origin is here. So we want, say, uh, 0 for x and 40 for y. And we want to be consistent on all our sprites. We want them to always have the origin right above Lazarus's uh, left ear from our perspective. Okay. So now we say OK. Uh, the other thing we want to do is once the animation is complete, 
we want to turn Lazarus back into the standing Lazarus because he's moved one square over. So we have to go to the Lazarus right object and add an event called, uh, you click on the other tab. Yeah, animation end is what we want. So we only want it to animate once. And once it animates, we want to turn back into a standing Lazarus again. Now we do change object again. Right. So again, anytime you do a game and you have multiple directions, you have a choice. Do you create an object for each direction, or do you just have one object with multiple sprites associated with? Uh, it's probably better to have different objects here because they're so different. We change it back. And here we go. OK, so here's Lazarus. If I hit the right key, oops, it animates, but it doesn't end up where I want it to be. You know, the animation happens, but I end up right back where I started. That's troubling. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. And the reason for that is we forgot to reposition Lazarus because once the animation happens, yeah, that's the animation, but he's not actually really moving. That's just an animation. We actually have to physically move him now over to the new spot. So once we change it to object last stand, well, before we do that, we need to move the object over. So here we're going to say jump, jump to position, and we're going to move it. We checked for you to the right, so now we want to move there. You got to hit relative. Yeah. Chain its instance. I just set it to object last stand. And perform events, I just left. I left, left that no. We're not going to perform events. We want to do this before we change object. So you want to jump to that position before we change it back to a standing Lazarus. So make sure to put it in that order. May not be necessary, but jump to position is on the second one. No, on the first one. And it's right here. See that? It's on the move tab. Okay, so now I think I'll finally go right and it'll end up in the right place. Okay. So go right. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Up the top, you just make sure you say relative. Yeah, if you don't say relative, it does it zero zero is the top left corner, so that's why Lazarus is up there. If I try to go over one more, it won't let me. Okay, why? Well, there's a wall in the way. But I want to be able to jump up on top of this wall, okay? Because if he, Lazarus can jump one wall height, okay, he should be able to navigate this, and right now he can't. Okay, so now we have to handle the uh, situation where. Uh, Lazarus is jumping up onto to the box because he should be able to do that at least one level. So we have to check a few ch check a few more things back here in object class, right? Or actually object class stand. So the hit right, if there's an object, if there's not a wall there then we scooch over. Otherwise, so here we say else. That's on the control tab here. So there's something in the way. Now we have to check the box right on top of the one just to our right. So we're going to add the start a block here because we're going to do a couple things. And again, we check for wall. But this time, we're checking up and to the right instead of just to the square right, right next to us. So right is still the same, 40. We want to scoot over one block, look at that block. But we also want to go up the screen. So this would be negative 40. Remember, y is upside down. So if you want to go up the screen, you subtract. And if you want to go down the screen, you add. You want to say relative, and you want to say not. So if there's not a wall there, then we'll jump there. If there is a wall there, we're not going to do anything. So if there is not a wall at that position, then we're going to change ourselves 
into, well, we don't have that one yet. All we have is left and right. We need to have the object that jumps up and to the right. Okay, So we can't finish this up yet. We still need a, a sprite and an object that uses that sprite. So let's do that now. Save your game now. Give it a meaningful name. Put it out in your H drive. Yeah. Okay, so the sprite we need is the one that jumps up and to the right. So we say for a sprite las jump right. This is jumping up onto a, another box. And Lazarus jump right. So it's this one. And see how he jumps up this time? We do want to remove the background. And if we look at the animation, yep, that's the right one. And then uh, we want to make that object as, as well. So let's do that. And we'll use that new uh, sprite we created. Okay. And then here, uh, what do we want to do? We want to add an animation end event. And at the end of the animation, just like before, we want to move to our new location first. Now this time the location is going to be a little different. It's going to be one square to the right, but it's also going to be one square up the screen. So we have to say actually negative 40. Okay? Because that's where we checked. We saw that there isn't something there. So we jump up there and then we move it and we have to say relative. Once we jump up to the new position, then we set the object back to object last stand. Okay. Yeah, so we want to jump to the right one square and up one square. That's what the negative 40 is. Say relative there. And then change uh, the Lazarus that jumps up to the right to a standing Lazarus. So now we can go back to our uh, code here and ask this question. Yeah, it's relative. If there's an object position, we're looking for the wall. If there's a wall up and to the left, or if there's not a wall up and to the left, that's when we change the sprite to make sure you get the right one. Object last jump right. And then don't forget to put your close uh, block. These two are probably unnecessary, but it makes it look a little bit more understandable. So I tend to put them in. OK. So let's try it now and see what, what problems either we created or perhaps uh, emerge as we're building this thing. Okay, so I go to the right. That's kind of cool. I jump up on the box. Uh, that wasn't quite right. Yeah, I jumped underground and then back up again. And then I jump over here and he's suspended in midair. Okay, so still there's some problems, right? Okay, so there's these imaginary invisible solid blocks. Okay, so there's a couple of issues that are happening here. First of all, we haven't taught Lazarus how to fall yet. Okay, so we have to get Lazarus falling. Uh, the other thing we need is 
we need to take the sprite, the new sprite we created, and make sure that the origin is above the, the, top, the left ear of Lazarus. See, we still have it up here in the corner. We, needed, we need to be consistent and always have the origin above Lazarus' left ear. Or otherwise, it gets out of sync. So again, for Y, we want to say 40. We want to move it down. Yeah, so now the origin is in the right spot. So now we have to figure out a way to make uh, last fall. And this is the part I don't quite remember, so I'm going to look around for my book. Okay, so one thing we have to make sure is that we don't want to have Lazarus jumping when he's in midair. Mid you know, you play Mario, and there's this weird thing called double jump. What the heck is that? You jump and you can jump again? Yeah, by doing something? That's, of course, that breaks the laws of physics. Once you leave the ground, you can't really do anything much. Can you change the direction of your jump? No. You see people are jumping in mid air and then they decide to change their mind, and so they turn the other way and they jump the other way. Uh, that's not true either. So this one, we're going to try to make this a little bit more real realistic when it comes to the laws of physics. We want to make sure that we're on the ground before we jump, okay? So uh, I guess we have to ask that question first. And that's before everything else. So here, we'll take this one here, check collision. We're just trying to see if there's, there's something underneath, underneath us, and we're looking for solid things. Uh, we don't want to change our x coordinate, but we do want to look just below us. So we're going to say eight pixels below what this, whatever this ob wherever this object is located. We want to make sure that they're on the ground. So if they're on the ground, see if I can do this right. If they're not on the ground, then we're just going to exit, just to keep it simple. Okay. Yeah, that's up on the control. If there's a collision at position, meaning are they on the ground? Well, if they're not on the ground, then we're just going to exit. Uh, no, the X is 0 and the Y is just 8. We're just looking to see if there's ground underneath us. So Lazarus can't jump unless he's on the ground. Okay, so we'll do that. How can we kind of mimic that in our room? Uh, yeah, it was relative. So if I, if I do something like this, and we want to see if when Lazarus jumps off here, we want to make sure that if we hit the right key, we don't want him jumping in midair. Okay? So that's what we're trying to, trying to avoid here. So I'm going to give that a try, and we're going to see if Lazarus, as he's falling, uh, can we jump in the middle of the falling thing? Okay, I'm jumping, I'm jumping. I try to jump while I'm falling. I'm not really falling, but I'm not jumping. So that's good, okay, because I'm not on the ground. Okay, so now we have to get Lazarus to fall. So let's try to find that here. Okay, so here's the actual code here. We're going to add a step event for Lazarus, and then if there's nothing there, we're going to make him fall at a speed of 8. But again, we're going to do that by move, move to position rather than uh, move fixed. So let's add that to Lazarus. We add uh, step events, and we're going to check to see if there's nothing beneath us. And again, this would be 8 again. And if there's nothing be beneath us, then we want to uh, jump to position uh, eight, um, eight pixels below where we are right now. Okay. So Lazarus is going to fall. We want to choose uh, eight because it divides evenly into 40, 
if we choose something else that doesn't divide evenly in the 40, then this won't work and Lazarus will get out of sync or out of, out of place. Yeah. The first one, I checked to see if x was 0, or to check to see if it was empty at position 0, so in the same horizontal coordinate, but uh, 8 pixels below. Say only solid relative. Okay. Yeah, jump to position is relative. Uh, jump to position, I said 8. 0 for x and 8 for y. So we check eight below us if there's anything there. We're gonna move we're gonna move uh, Lazarus there. So now now it should actually fall. Okay, here's Lazarus, and our hope is once we jump off this cliff, he's actually gonna fall to the ground. Let's see if he does. Yay. Okay. Okay, so your job, if you choose to accept it is to do the left, you know, the, the hop over to the left and then the jump left and get it so that Lazarus can go either, dire either direction, okay? So I'll leave it there for today. So yeah, just finish up on the left side and then you'll be ready to go for tomorrow as we add the boxes. The boxes get pretty complicated, so we'll, we'll do that eventually.